While most artists might choose to express themselves through paint, ink, or clay, multimedia artist Jeffrey Allen Price works with nature's medium of growth and decay. I think all the great discoveries in my own art have, have been through some kind of accident. This whole process of the rustograms, although it came out of this earlier process of the absorption modules, which I previously referred to as garden stacks because I was doing them on my garden almost like a mulch process, covering the garden in the off season with papers and then putting cans and bricks and all kinds of other objects that I might get interesting imprints and then leaving them out and letting nature take its course and trying to encourage interesting patterns of mold, rust, and other accidental detritus that would come about on the surface of these things. Price took this idea further while working in his sometimes flooded, unfinished basement. I was starting to see where the water was gathering and I also had seen some rusted patterns on the cement floor and I thought maybe I can put some paper down and I can imitate some of these marks that I've seen and really this flooded basement became a fortuitous incident that allowed me to experiment and lay down these papers and that was really the birth of this series trying to encourage uh, accidents to happen but having a deliberateness in the kind of objects that I would put on the works. Some of them were bricks that were laying around and I would use them to set on the objects, but some of these I've gone out of my way to find. Sometimes I go to salvage yards and I'll find a lot of discarded metals that uh, can't be recycled, like old grills. I've recently found some wheel parts from cars. I think the beginning of the objects were paint cans actually, which were the natural residue of my process as a painter. I was using a lot of paint and the cans were just around and then I put them on a square paper and I got this circle on a square format which I was really excited about and Having those cans around for a while, they became more rusted, and I started looking for other objects that uh, might be interesting to put on paper. Some of my favorites are grills and uh, fan fronts, wheels from cars, uh, just really heavy pieces of metal that are extremely rusted. I've used little rings and nails and big staples, a lot of random metal objects that I found, I'm not even sure their original origin. I, I never know what I'm gonna find sometimes um, at the salvage yards, and, and every once in a while there's just something that uh, immediately I take and put on paper and it makes an amazing stain, and that just keeps opening up the possibilities to new kinds of work. I think that that circle on the square was the, the beginning point for me and I've always been interested in mandalas, healing mandalas, and these rust pieces particularly have tended to be in a kind of mandala format. It's a kind of centering of myself as a meditative process, but it's an actually centering of the objects maybe around a central form. But sometimes I lay them out in what I think are like what I call tablets. They look kind of like ancient writing sometimes. I'm trying to imitate or create my own visual language that's inspired by like cuneiform, Egyptian hieroglyphs, any kind of ancient tablet that looks like a tablet that's maybe indecipherable. And that's what I'm trying to create is some kind of new language that looks like an ancient language that's just based on laying out simple geometric patterns. This corrosion process, for me, is a metaphor ultimately for decay. And I think if people can see the beauty in this process of breaking down and renewal, or uh, this, this, uh, this idea of uh, beauty from something kind of dirty and decaying, then I, I think I've succeeded in some way. Uh, I've had people tell me that these look like ancient language, uh, that they look like artifacts from uh, forgotten civilization, and I think that those are beautiful ways of reading the work. For Push Pause in Lake Grove, 
This is Eric Alfredo. Mm-hmm.